Good morning. It is filled to the brim and it is Wednesday, July 15th. And the Lord is saying something to us and that is God's gym is open. You know, our governor in California just closed all the gyms. Of course, in our county, they were never open. But Jesus says, my gym is open. My gym is open and I'm giving you a workout. I'm giving you a workout because you're going to be a muscle Christian in the earth. And the Lord wants us to go to his gym and to be faithful and consistent in it. He's giving us a workout because the Lord doesn't grow his children to be weak. He grows us to be strong and courageous. You know, the Lord gave me the person Jeremiah to, as an illustration for this word. Jeremiah 12, 5. This is the Lord's rebuke, actually, to Jeremiah, because the Lord has called him from the womb to be his servant, to be his prophet. And Jeremiah is having some problems with his assignment. He's feeling a little frail and weak and negative about the assignment, about the battle that he is in. Jeremiah 12, 5. This is what the Lord says. This is what his father God says to him. If you have raced with men on foot and they have tired you out, then how can you compete with horses? If you fall down in a land of peace where you feel secure, then how will you do among the lions in the flooded thicket beside the Jordan? In other words, come on, Jeremiah. I didn't call you to be weak. I didn't call you to be wore out. I called you to be strong and courageous. I have given to you my spirit. I have placed my spirit upon you, Jeremiah. I have given you the words, my words in your mouth. He has called him. Actually, Jeremiah chapter one tells us about the call of God on Jeremiah's life, that God has chosen him. God has appointed him. God has given him the word and the promise of protection over him. And now Jeremiah is growing um, negative and growing uh, frail in this assignment. And the Lord has Jeremiah in his gym saying, you can do this. It is in you. You can be powerful. I have called you not to be wore out, but I have called you to run with the stallions. Jeremiah 1 8 says this, do not be afraid of them, Jeremiah, or their hostile faces, for I am with you always to protect you and deliver you, says the Lord. See, the Lord has already given Jeremiah the protection, the canopy of protection as he goes into his assignment. And I am telling you today, as we face uncertain times, as we face battles, as we are facing even a greater onslaught of the enemy against believers, true believers that stand up for righteousness, the Lord has promised to you from the onset that he will protect you. And he also has said to you, I have given to you my Holy Spirit, not not that you are weak, not that you are frail, not that you're crumbling in the corner in a fetal position, but rather because to make you strong and courageous and give you the power to be obedient to do what I have called you to do. Jeremiah 1 verse 7, this is about the call of Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says to him. Everywhere I send you, you shall go and whatever I command you, you shall speak. You shall do it. We're in God's gym. This is not uh, his assignment to us. His word to us is not a, a something that we are to say, oh, maybe I should do it. It is a command to us that the Lord has given to us. And the Lord is saying to Jeremiah in chapter 12, later on, after he's given him all these promises, don't make any excuses. I have already given you everything that you need at the calling in chapter one of Jeremiah, I have told you that I was going to be with you. I have told you that I have empowered you. I have told you that I have placed my words in your mouth. You know, in chapter one of Jeremiah, Jeremiah does give God kind of a, an excuse for why he cannot fulfill God's call. Jeremiah 1 6 then I said our oh Lord behold I do not know how to speak for I am only a young man but the Lord said to me do not say I am only a young man that phrase do not say 
Jeremiah, you can do it. And also, Jeremiah, you are not a victim. Jeremiah, you are not a victim. Jeremiah, do not say that you're victimized by who you are. You're victimized by your circumstances. You're victimized by what you've experienced in the past. The Lord is saying to Jeremiah, do not say those excuses because when you say those things, you're convincing yourself of those things. You are prophesying the negative into your life. And the Lord is saying to us, do not say why you can't do the assignment. The Lord is actually correcting some of us because a lot of times we are self-prophesying why we can't do what God has called us to do. And that actually feeds into a victimized spirit, a spirit of victimization. And the Lord is confronting in his gym today. He is confronting the victimized spirit, the spirit that gives into fear, the spirit that says that the enemy is more powerful than I am. That's what a victimized spirit is. It is saying that the enemy me has the upper hand on me and that is not the truth when the Holy Spirit dwells in you you have the more than conqueror spirit and the Lord has put you in his gym today to kick box that victimized spirit out that no longer will that victimized spirit dwell upon you so many times I hear people have a victimized spirit and what it does is it it immobilizes them it causes them to walk in the spirit of, the, of fear maybe you have had something in your past where you have had uh, something bad happen to you and so it's it's that fear comes upon you that maybe what has happened in the past will overtake you in the present but that is a victimized spirit and the Lord is saying that does not belong in my son or in my daughter and it is a spirit of deceit about your identity and so kick that victimized spirit out of you because you can do all things through Christ today that victimized to my spirit must go today the Lord is reminding you of who you are the Lord is saying you know what you can run with the stallions the Lord is saying it like he said to second Timothy like Paul wrote to second Timothy I remind you to fan into flame the gracious gift of God that inner fire which is in you for I did not give you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind the truth is this no more spirit of victimization you are in God's gym you have kickbox that thing out of here and when it tries to creep up you have the overcoming power you are no longer a victim you walk in power authority courage and obedience you know pray about this word God has you working out the muscles yes there's things that come against us but guess what we are more than conquerors I love you God bless you pray about this word